This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. In this lesson, we're going to take a look at starting up the web service and the default website. So bring up Server Admin if it's not already open. Find your web service. On the overview page, we see that our web service is already running. If yours isn't, click on the button in the lower left and start your web service. We don't really need to take a look at the log files or graphs at this point. What we want to do is go into the sites. This is where our sites are defined and configured, and you should have one already there. It has no host name, which means that any host name currently in use on our server will be used as a host name for this website. Same for the IP addresses. The star indicates that any IP address operating on this server will match for this website. And it is set to port 80, so that is the default port for HTML access. In the lower portion, we see that we can fill in a host name and a host description, which is sort of a comment. We can set an individual IP address that might be in use on our server. I'm not going to at this point. And we see the location of where our web documents are actually stored. They are stored on volumes, data, service data, web documents. Now the reason for that is that when we set up the server in the server setup assistant, chose our data volume as the location for our service data. The other place you might see is a little different, and I'll show you that right now. First, I'm going to control the server with screen sharing. And then I'm going to go into the finder on the server. I'm going to start on the server's hard drive, and I'm going to show you the default location if you did not choose a separate volume to put your files on. So it's under Library, Web Server, Documents. This contains the default website information. However, this is not our current default web server information if you configured your server as I have. Instead, that's located under Data, Service Data, Web, Documents. It should have essentially the same information. Now, let's take a look at the index.html file, which is the default web page that is brought up when we launch our Safari web browser. First, we're going to go into Safari. And right now, my Safari is set to use Apple as the home address. I'm going to change that in preferences so that the home page is actually my server01. So server01.example.com. Now, when we bring up a new page in Safari, it will go to our server. This default web page is defined in that index.html file that I showed you, and you can make changes to it to meet your needs. You could change the banner. I'm going to make a simple change right now, so I'm going to switch back over to my screen sharing. And what we're going to do is use text edit. Maybe not the best editor for this, but it is built in. We're going to open up the index.html file. We're going to click Ignore Rich Text Commands, and by doing so, it's going to show us the underlying HTML rather than giving us a rendered or partially rendered web page. Now, I'm not going to teach a lot of HTML here. We're going to make one simple change. First of all, I'm going to just push my screen sharing down a little bit. Note that the title up here says Mac OS X Server. Let's change that title here to say Example Mac OS X Server. Save that quit out a text edit, and I'm done with screen sharing for the time being. Now, to get this to reload, there are a couple different methods. Whenever you're testing web pages, it's usually a good idea to completely empty your Safari cache, maybe even completely reset Safari. So under the Safari menu, I'm going to say Reset Safari, and Safari will automatically open up my home page, and I'm back to my server01.example.com. Notice that the title changed to Example Mac OS X Server. So that's it in a nutshell, where your default index.html file is located and how to set up the web service with default configuration settings.